urging Gotham residents to stay off the roads and in their homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that has banished the island, Bruce. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham is the most eligible bachelor spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Knowing that tonight we put to rest one of Gotham's most heinous and relentless killers, Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Loeb, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Loeb! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 64, en route. Dispatch 59. Confirm Code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat, Commissioner Loeb is 701. Here for Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. This is Captain James Gordon with the GCPD. This is an emergency situation. And I am assuming command. Security These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. <laughs> before that is in your hands. Oh, no! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay! He's headed to the execution chamber. <laughs> With Loeb! Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Hey, look at that. What is it? into this mess in the first place.
That area of the floor is weak. I can use my explosive gel to break through. They say crime doesn't pay. Someone oh. ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets. Because they are lying with my money. And what have I got to show for? My own men in the slammer? No, I'm no more. Move. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, Lowe! come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all, I've done for you. You can't do this! I'm a police commissioner, damn it! <laughs> Show's over, boys. <laughs> Oh. 
going. The boss of me is me. I want teeth. I want answers. Wait till Black Mask's assassins get through with you. What assassin? <laughs> Whoever wins is gonna be famous. thing is a bat huh? Are you back for the night, sir? Huh? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile. Told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not. What the? Floyd Lawton, AKA Deadshot. Freeze! Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Bachinsky calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. 
You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of a human condition, I suppose. We've a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find penguins, then you'll want to leave soon. shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service call. That's it? You better not be lying to me. Ah! Ah! Screw this. I quit. Ah! that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't think it's just that he's there. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Where are you going? Don't move. I'm here, you guys. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. This tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. 
Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... mm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline. And you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait, I already know. Thank you! 
Where's the penguin? I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Wake up. What happened? <laughs> Time to talk. Where's Cobblepot? Let me go! If you insist. Please, stop! Stop! I'll talk! I'll tell you anything you want to know! Please! Too late. I already have what I need. No! If I can read this SIM card, I may be able to locate Penguin. Alfred, I'm getting interference on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. <laughs> to a problem when you can just throw crap at it. doing this, Enigma. Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position.
I need to find oh, yeah. the next comm station. The then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment and saving his own arms. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. <laughs> Listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fights after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza, but just there to show you, you what a nice I'm guy I am, offer. the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. I'll make Penguin's myself been hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to I find. for laggers. Batman? Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this year's Boiler Deck Fights. You know I always get a laugh by you first, Raptor. Oh, no, no. Why I keep you boys around? <laughs> well, Dan and I need someone to clean out the pisser. <laughs> Christmas. 
Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. And he deserves a right proper welcome, don't he, lad? He just saved me a lot of trouble coming here, but man. signal I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Your password? It must be Finn's. He's always forgetting stuff. Did I go bring it to him? Who's serious? We gotta move this cash before the bat gets here. Right, right. Hey. Hey, we go! Visitors, and there ain't no way I'm going to the theater to see him, so you can be on your 
security room. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> 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 Oh, you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. You idiots better kill me. Please, don't hurt me. Are you waiting for a personal invitation? What are you waiting for? 
Remind me why I paid for this. Just stand there, kill him! Kid, now hold on. Hold on a bloody minute! I've seen your act. I ain't done nothing you've not done. Stop. Black Mask. Put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait. Wait. Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Mask. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <laughs>
Sewer Slade. What are you? Nice seeing you, Batman. Feel free to let yourself out. I can't let Penguin get away. There's more I need to ask him. Deathstroke's device to get up to the balcony. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am Anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell. About crime and violence. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Of change. I planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is that strong. New system. The bats here! We bet off more than we can kill! They say money makes the world go round. But it also makes you're tied to your job, your mortgage. You need to buy the next shiny thing your overpriced television seduces you. That's what you can accomplish if only someone could set us free. Alfred, we've got a problem. So I saw. This anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir.
Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. What a shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. We found the bastards stepping little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him score him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot. But none of the glory. Me? I take the loot over the glory any day. You need an believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. 
The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. Assassins in town today. From the info we've been gathering, they're among the most dangerous criminals on record. Period. After interrogating Whalen Jones, we've learned that they're all competing for a huge bounty, which Black Mask has offered for the head of the pack. Where do I sign up? Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. <clears throat> 
must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. I won't stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Hi, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup for a black game, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars. And for those of you who ain't too good with the math, that means we all retire. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take him down then. I've got to be quiet, so those SWAT officers don't hear me. Like any other stunt. We can't find dirt. We make our own. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perks and the holding cells to go free? You mean we Disruptor of yours, do. Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs. They got it in evidence lockup. How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay. Okay, you win. It it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go. How'd that work out for you last time? <clears throat> yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up. Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you? Hey, you don't get it, man. The press. What the hell am I supposed to do? their actions are justified, who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. Didn't you be searching your quadrant? Eh, I'll leave that for the boys in SWAT. Why's that? Ain't you heard? Brandon made a deal with Black Mask. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. You gotta be kidding me. What else? <clears throat> Department head. Need a head count. A lot of people 
unaccounted for. a security protocol I'm not familiar with, and the windows are reinforced glass. Hmm. The disruptor in the evidence locker might do the trick. It adjoins an old elevator shaft which you can access via the infirmary. You should be able to break in from there. I've added it to your map. Turn it in. Good, you've made it to the infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That will take you to the evidence locker. Got it.
I, I got a pulse. All right, call it in. Let's get him to Gotham General. Will do. As soon as he stabilizes. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> Never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe you. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! Strange. These are black masks, man. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find running around in the sewers. Could be worse. At least he sent an expert martial artist to protect us down here. They get the snot on the clothes. Boss is making a big move. Yeah, we could overrun.
Tusk's men planting explosives here. The cops have always been on his payroll. <laughs> you and me both. Confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacey Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. A casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later ready for trouble, and found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy, giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank.